Hey guys, so recently I had a question about sleep apnea. What causes it and what can you do about it? So this is the condition which really affects uh, someone's sleep. Um, you see this a lot in diabetics. Is there a connection? Yes, there is. So when you have high glucose, okay, high blood sugar, it depletes vitamin B1, okay, that's thiamine. Because vitamin B1 is essential in maintaining normal function of your brainstem, especially the breathing centers, which connect to a, a nerve called the phrenic nerve, which comes down from the brainstem and goes right to the diaphragm. So the entire diaphragm, the motor control, the function of the movement of the diaphragm is controlled by this one nerve. So if that nerve is cut, you're not gonna be able to breathe. So what happens, this part of the nervous system is under what's called autonomic nervous system function. Now the autonomic nervous system works on automatic, but you can also influence it too. So right now I can stop breathing if I want. And then if I forget to breathe, that autonomic nervous system will kick in there and breathe for me. When I'm sleeping, that system actually breathes for me, so I don't have to think about it. So here's the thing. Um, so when your spouse is, let's say, snoring, and all of a sudden you hear them stop breathing for a period of time, that sleep apnea, that's definitely involving these breathing centers right here. So it's really the, the high sugar, okay, which depletes vitamin B1, which then you lose the function of the breathing centers. I mean, if you take a look at um, other symptoms of low vitamin B1, you have lactic acidosis. That basically is a situation where your pH becomes slightly more acidic and you'll have problems breathing just from that alone. Or there's another condition called dyspnea, which is basically difficulty breathing. It's related to something called beriberi. What is that? That's a vitamin B1 deficiency. But people could have a moderate or a subclinical deficiency that might not show up on a blood test, but it's just gradually going into a major deficiency. Also, there's another condition called SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome, okay, where this infant just stops breathing for no reason. Well, that also is related to a severe B1 deficiency in an infant, which basically affects the breathing centers. Uh, again, a lot of this information you can find when you study beriberi, or look at the relationship between vitamin B1 deficiency and SIDS. You'll find a lot of interesting research. So that's why it's very important to make sure that the infant is breastfed, or if, if you're getting a formula that it has enough B1 and other nutrients, because some of these uh, formulas are just pure sugar, a void of a lot of good nutrition. Anyway, I just wanted to point out that if you have sleep apnea, you may want to start taking vitamin B1 and in addition to that, take nutritional yeast because that will also support and prevent any other deficiencies from higher levels of vitamin B1. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, so if you haven't done so, please press subscribe now. That way you can be aware of all the new content that I'm putting out on a regular basis.